peoples. So in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this unit that I'm rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, peoples. So before we jump right into the video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is being brought to you guys by Wig Encounter. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, peoples. Without further ado, if you guys are interested in the details and the specs, how I style this unit, and then my closing thoughts, then definitely go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, peoples. So jumping right in today we have a unit from wig encounters now i'm going to unbox it it comes with your unit as well as a car with your information that you need and then as well as a wig cap so here's how the unit looks it is 100 percent human hair and here's how the inside looks it is big head friendly they do offer different sizes this unit comes with the combs in the front as well as a comb in the back with the adjustable straps and this unit is also a 360 unit which i will not be utilizing that because this is a shorter unit but uh, if you want to, you can. And also, in the front, it is a 13 by 6, so you have plenty of parting area. This is the pre part that it came with, and they did already pre bleach and pre plug the hairline, so that is really good. And now I'm giving you guys a 360 of the unit. And it, although they did bleach the knots on this unit, it was not dark enough for my skin tone, so I'm just going in with this airbrush legs by Sally Hansen, and then I'm going to seal it in with some Holden spray. This is just Aussie Holden spray. You can use any one. I just chose to use that one. So now I'm going to go in and style the unit. I'm going to use this wax stick so that I can lay the parting area the way that I want. I did go in with a hot tool later on once I got to that part of the hair on the styling portion. And then I'm also going to use this heat protective spray by Tresemme. And I'm just going to go in and flat iron and lightly bump it. And then I am going to go in and tame the wig down and tack it down to my head with got to be glue. I did not show it. So yeah, got to be glue is just a gel. It's not actually a glue, but I'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch what I'm doing because it's pretty self-explanatory. And then of course I'll finish out with my clothing box. Okay, Diva, so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this unit, I am here to tell you guys how I feel about it, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the positives. So this hair is so freaking cute. Like, I really do love this bob. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because, like, my neck is a little bit shorter, so I was like, how is this going to fall on me? But it's not bad. Um, this side probably for me, and if you have a shorter neck, it it probably needs to be trimmed up a little bit um or either trim this side up a little bit i don't know i just left it as it is like i didn't feel like i just didn't feel like cutting it or anything so i just did not go in and do that but um if you want it to be like a little bit shorter or i don't know more bob-esque because this is like a lot more so on me because like i said my neck is short but it is so freaking cute i also like the fact that it does come with um pre bleach not now i did have one con with it which i will tell you guys in the end um what my con was or what my cons are um but other than that i do like the fact that it does come pre-bleached because 
for people who don't know how to bleach or you just don't have the time you just want to put the wig on or you want to just style your wig and then just put it on like because that's how it was for me like I just wanted to style the wig and then put it on so um yeah and as you guys can see they did a good job on the bleaching another thing I like is how soft this hair is like this hair is very soft and very easy going like all I had to do was pass the flat iron through each section that I took a couple of times and it pretty much just did what I wanted it to do it's very like sleek and it still has like its little bounce it's not like one of those stiff bobs so I really do like that I also love how easily the hairs lay when I wanted to part it. Um, granted, I did use a wax stick, and I just feel like a wax stick is, like, key when you want your wig to be, like, laid. Like, I just started using it on my own wigs. I used to use it on other people's wigs when I would do it for them. But, like, I don't know why I haven't been using it for myself, because you guys, like, it's laid. I did go in, and what well, you guys seen in the previous clips, I did go in and um, run the hot comb through. But even before I did that, it was already laid so um yeah so I do like the fact that it lays easy I also like that it is pre-plucked as well so the hairline looks really good and natural you can go in and pluck it more if you would like to but for me um this was pretty much good I don't have a problem with this but like I said if you want to go in and customize it more you can definitely don't need to go in and customize the parting because they have already um bleached the knots and it looks good in my personal opinion but it's just all off of your personal preference but for me I really do like it so yeah I really like the texture of this hair um, and I also like the density the density is I'm not sure what exact density it is of course it will be in the description box below but for me this is like a really good natural density so it's not too full and it's not too thin either so I I love that kind of density like I just hate a density that's too low especially with the bob like this you need something that's like you know like right there in the middle so yeah overall I think this hair is pretty nice so um, I think that is all my pros so let's just jump right into the cons so one of the cons that I have with this wig is certain area well this area in particular right here um, they did over bleach the knots a little bit um it's not like anything that's horrible because you wouldn't have known unless I told you but you can see it just a little bit and that could just be my unit because this is my individual unit so it doesn't mean that it's gonna happen with the other units but it was a little bit over bleached um but I mean you can go in and fix that um I probably should do a video on that because I have done that a couple of times where I over bleached the knot so and I know how to fix it it's a super quick fix it's super easy but yeah that was the uh, that was one of the only things another thing is that this unit does shed so um it's not like anything that's super crazy but it does shed a little bit um and I did go in and cut off the ear tab as well but before I cut off the ear tab there was some shedding with this hair so um I just wanted to keep that in mind for you guys but it's nothing that's too crazy like honestly it's nothing too crazy it's very normal um and there was no tangling with this wig which I really appreciated so um yeah so those are just my little few cons but overall I do like this unit I feel like she is very cute she's very ready to take her out of the box I would say to flat iron her you don't have to because she does come like kind of style but if you wanted to have like I like the slight bump like I don't like the super bump like if you guys can see like I just like it to be like barely like like barely a bump like not like barely their bump I don't like you know I don't like the super over dramatic bump like no it's just like no that's something like one of my great aunts will wear or something but I like to just do that but she's definitely ready out of the box um I also wanted to tell you guys about this clip that I got because um I am gonna look for a link on Amazon or something but I did get this from the Delamo swap meet so um it's just a clip that says love and it came with a pack of two so this love love <laughs> but yeah it came with a pack of two and I thought that this would be like a really cute just accent for the hair because it is just like a plain Jane bob which is nothing wrong with that because this is definitely everyday-esque but I just wanted to add like something extra to the hair 
So in case you're like, where did you get that from? Um, I got it from the swap meet, but I will go ahead and find the link and hopefully I ha can find something similar or something that I think you guys would like and I'll link it in the description box below. But anywho, if you guys are interested in this wig, I will definitely have a link down in the description box below. So be sure to go ahead and check that out. But yeah, divas, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow. If you fabulous girls did, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you fabulous girls and know what you guys are thinking. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also hit that notification bell, girl, because I do upload quite often and you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos. But yeah, divas, that is pretty much it. And I'll see you gorgeous girls in my next video. Bye.